we Nini Bong and welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things Transformers and Transformers action figure related. So we're going to take a little look at something that I know is quite old by now. Um, but what I have seen is that this is the Alpha Strike uh, Alpha Force uh, pack that you can get. And actually, this is actually really reasonable. Now, uh, the price is certainly in the UK, especially in Kapow, uh, which is where I got this from, are very, very reasonable. So I thought I'd do a quick review on this because I literally just picked this up from Kapow um, for a very reasonable price. I'll, I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. Um, so I thought I'd do a little review on this and it's also a fantastic opportunity for me to talk about actually what are two of my favorite molds from the Siege lineup. So let's get cracking. So the Alpha Strike Counterforce is the opposite side to the Skywarp box set, which is incredibly difficult to get and winds me up because I need that uh, to complete my collection. So when you have them together, the other one goes here and it forms like a full picture here. And this one hasn't sold so well, but let's take a little look at the box art for this. Fantastic, awesome box art. We get our first look at the people who are actually inside it which is side swipe uh, we get slam dance and we also get a little bit of trench foot down there but this is an awesome box art no peephole window nothing to, to have a look through here but very nice box art at the top we have transformers or oh, for cybertron at the side you says autobot alpha strike counter force and then at the set at the back we have the product shots of Ah, uh, Convert Clone, Convert Clone Secret, hmm. Secret Sideswipe, Clone of Sideswipe there obviously, we get Trench Foot, we, auto, we also get uh, Autobot Grand Slam, and Rain Dance who form together to make Slam Dance, and then we also see here which is the Decepticon Phantom Strike Squadron, which is the one that you cannot get anywhere uh, so really nice um, see the don't eat things don't do shit and then at the uh, at the side here we have the fantastic siege artwork so the box fits really really nice inside the box we also get the destructions destructions obviously for this one are for three bots respectively um so it's quite a a, a large uh instruction manual here um however these all both have but quite simple uh, transformations on this packaging out of the way let's have a look at the figures themselves so we're gonna start off with side swipe so side swipe on this one is obviously the normal car that he turns into on this the kind of ferrari-esque model that he turns into on this and this is a fantastic g2 looking paint job on this out of all of the uh, the versions of side swipe that you can get on siege and there's a lot i've got quite a few of them uh, i think this is the best looking i love this black and red paint job on this guy i think he looks really really cool uh you have a look here you can see all of the kind of circuitry type stuff i guess looking through here some molded detail on the front lovely black with the red flashes as we go through it uh, on the back and then absolutely beautiful this is this is one of my favorite molds from siege both of these are um, absolutely great really nice let's see how it compares to his autobot wavemates uh, so wavemate wise we have the normal version of sideswipe that we can get and then we also have the version that becomes red alert so we can see how they all clock out together and for me this is just the best looking one so within this set you definitely get the best looking version of sideswipe next up is slam dance and slam dance is a uh, really really cool looking with his blue and then the red tank mode uh looking epic there um really really nice version of this let's start by having a look at rain dance 
so rain dance and so rain dance and grand slam are two separate bots that form together to make slam dance and you can see that the jet version here is beautiful even its blue form very 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 nice plenty of molded detail and silver really nice looking very different to uh, the other version that we got obviously um, but nice red lots of molded detail here transformation is very easy and I really really like this this part of it then we move on to Grand Slam Grand Slam is a different story so although the tank looks pretty cool uh, very reminiscent of another Autobot tank especially with coloring wise um, both this and Skytread have a similar issue, which is the transformation round here. Um, you can see how it's barely hanging together. Um, and it's actually quite difficult and a challenge to get these to, to peg in correctly, certainly on my version of this. Um, my other version, on um, when I bring that out to show you, uh, on Skytread has an issue as well. And you can see how the, 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 the the front here always like points down. You can never get this to kind of go back. This almost needs to go back enough. So it does have challenges, this part of the figure for the transformation, but it looks okay from afar. No articulation really to speak of with these guys, um, but they look quite nice, quite nice molded detail. I do like the, the silver on the guns on this one and also on the tank tracks. So together they make a pretty nice looking team. So now for comparison, we can bring out Skytread, who is obviously the Decepticon uh, version of this and the original, this is the recolor. So there's the, the plane and here is the tank. You can see here, have a look together. Um, I have to say personally for me, I prefer this version, the Decepticon version, the original, uh, just because this is obviously um, the update version of Flywheels. Um, and for me, um, that's what I grew up with and I absolutely loved this figure and this is one of my favorite Siege figures uh, in the whole of the lineup. So this recall is nice but it, and it's nice to have on my shelf but for me the original still wins out. This is the problem I have with my tank on this one. You can see again that this just points down and this barely hangs on. So um, the tank mode of this in both forms have a similar issue. But you can see they look quite nice together both Autobot and Decepticon version. Take them away and then we can have a little look and see how they go against the G1 versions here and the g1 versions are very very nice next to them you can see how close they actually get but you can see how this is just purely an updated version i don't have the, the extra weapon to go here unfortunately but it's nice to see them next to the g1 version while we have slam dance in the booth let's start with slam dances transformation and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to move them along and you're going to take the two accessories off and move them to one side to bring out again later on. Then you're going to unhook these two pieces here and pull the body out, unhook the legs, push these down and put the legs back in to form his little legs. Then pick up the plane, move the arms out like so pull this bit round and this bit to then bring this piece out of there like that and then these two pieces clip in here just to make the waist and then you can bring the head down and they just tab it in here and here and finally we want to just flip it round flip the arms out the hands out even and then oh good you just push everything together and then they just tab in together very easily at the waist -da! and there we have slam dance and next up we will have the transformation for side swipe so side swipes transformation here uh, first of all you're gonna start underneath flip this up 
and then you're going to want to flip out the sides and flip out the sides here bring the arms out and up out and up and then flip this bit here out and out this will then allow you to just move the legs all out and flip these pieces back down like so once you've got those back down you can move his little arms out his little arm out here bring this piece down Whoop. make sure the arms are out and bring his chest piece down to snap that down so you can see that's cool then you can work on the legs legs are very simple come around the back flip the toes down now these toes here on all of these are on these little plastic things so make sure that you hold here and pull otherwise there's a danger you can stress this peg it is quite flexible and you could actually snap one of the feet off then you want to close this down close this down swivel his body round and there we have our g2 looking sideswipe i find it quite interesting that he's called covert clone uh sideswipe so i think that's quite interesting maybe sideswipe in this form is going to be kind of the um uh, the goon type that gets killed off all the time similar to how we see seekers uh, and maybe this version of sideswipe there's going to be loads of these during war for cybertron and these are almost like the soldiers that get killed off all the time by decepticons because he's a clone that could be quite interesting if that's the way they're going to go with it so let me know in the comments why you think uh, he's called a clone in this that could be an interesting thing um have a look at this guy he is the the classic siege version just re recolored awesome head on this guy really really nice head sculpt and um, you can see uh nice sculpting all the way through the body and he just looks absolutely beautiful i love the little battle damage on these i know people don't like it and um, the netflix version of this is really nice but i have three versions of this mold already i don't need another one um let's see if i get it or not uh <laughs> but you can see as we go through this is just a really beautifully colored version of this figure articulation we get great articulation on heed 360 on the arms nice elbow bend and then also a full 360 rotation around here and the hands don't articulate but they do go in because of the transformation at the hips we get a full 360 hips roll because of the transformation then you get really nice leg bend on this and a nice bend at the knees and then he will ninja kick very very well no backpack on this guy very slim great figure actually one of my favorites from the whole siege line when it comes to looking at accessories for this guy uh, he comes with this which can separate into two so you can have two guns if you want or what most people do uh, which is use this peg and we peg this just into oops, sorry into the side yeah like so so he can have it on his shoulder like so and that all looks pretty cool also accessories i guess for this one um we also get trench foot with this so trench foot is the battle master that comes like with this battle master obviously will go into his arm and matches him to a t which is really really nice um, and also will fit into ports uh, on the arms as so if you so wish uh, it is just another recolor of blowpipe so it's the same one that we get with hot link um, blowpipe uh, then transforms very easily like so blowpipe sorry trench foot unpick his feet put the arms down and put it to the back and having a look at this guy up close, um, I really prefer this version to the version that I got with Hotlink. Um, so much better than Heartburn. Lots more painted detail, and this actually looks really, really good. Nice little head sculpt there. No articulation on the head. Um, arms and everything, normal articulation on the arms and with the legs as well. Something that is pretty cool 
with these figures is that you actually get this actual little extra flame effect piece that can go on the front of blowpipe, blow trench foot, or can go on the front of the gun, like so. so. Now for the comparison, we can bring him out with the normal Siege version of Sideswipe, see how they stand next to each other, and then we can also bring him out with Red Alert, which is here, and yeah, you can see how they all look together. Uh, for me, as I've said, I do believe that this is the best version. Uh, Red Alert looks very nice, uh, but for me, this is still the best version of Sideswipe color-wise that we can get. Obviously, they're all the same mold. Let's just check in with Slam Dance in the full combined mode. So Slam Dance, I guess, is a combiner of sorts because Grand Slam and Rain Dance do combine to create Slam Dance. And we can see here he's the blue and red. And let's have a little look at his head sculpt. His head sculpt is pretty, pretty nice here. I really like this head sculpt. Um, nice yellow eyes, very bright, vibrant colors on this guy. Um, silver on the head there, really, really nice looking head sculpt. Uh, lots of moldy detail as we move through this bot, especially down to the legs. I really like uh, the way that they've done the molding on this guy around the back. Not too much of a backpack. Obviously, you can see where the two things combine, but I think they combine really well to look so cool. Uh, then, let's have a little look at his articulation. We get a full. 360 on a ball joint for the head. His arms are on a 360 rotation. He gets a lot of movement at the shoulder. On the elbow, we get a full 360 on the elbow and a nice rotation there as well. Hands do not turn, they do not articulate, but they do just go in slightly there. Uh, hips have a slight rotation but it's very very much impacted by the fact that you've got this massive plane sat on the back so you'll get a little bit of a, a little bit of a swivel but not too much uh, leg articulation again impacted by the fact that you have the plane here but you, we can go out and round if we want to go back but we can't just go straight back we can go forward we get a nice bend oh, a nice bend at the knees and then we get some toe articulation here as well and forward and back because of the transformation so articulation wise he's good a little bit impacted but not too badly uh, he does have great accessories that come with him which are the guns from the tank mode the two very nice silvery guns here that will just fit in and you can see with the loads of really nice silver paint on this they are pretty flashy looking these guns Lots of nice molded detail, blue tip on one, and then the other one just has the silver, uh, and really nice touch. I think that they, the guns suit the figure. So for comparison, let's bring out Sky Tread for the comparison here, which is obviously the Decepticon model of this figure and sky tread looks fantastic next to this figure for me sky tread still takes it sky tread is the classic looking version of this and is one of my favorite figures in the entire siege line so slam dance was going to have to go pretty damn far to be able to beat this but i think they look nice together it's nice to have the autobot version and the decepticon version Let's bring in the G1 version of flywheels just to see how they look together and you can see that he towers over that and the articulation is just absolutely next level. This is what I love about Siege because you take a little figure, uh, if I bring Skytread back in, take a little figure like flywheels aka Skytread, who was not a very well known figure even in the G1 line uh, it came out towards the the end of the, the the kind of when it was really big in the uk in the us i guess and you get this fantastic figure in siege fully articulated everything i wished this was when i was a kid is embodied in this figure which i think is actually why i love this guy so much um 
but all in all, yeah, you know, Slam Dance still looks great, but for me, Sky Tread still wins out. So all in all, would I recommend that you pick up the Alpha Strike Counter Force Pack at this price? Now, I got this on Kapow, or my girlfriend, sorry, bought me this on Kapow for around £30, which I think works out at about $40, I think. Absolutely fantastic. I think this is an absolutely pa brilliant pack at this price. Excellent slam dance. Um, few challenges on the alt mode, obviously, like I said, with the tank, but all versions of that have that issue. I've, uh, certainly, I've got two versions of this now, and they both have a similar issue with the tank mode. And for me, the best version of Sideswipe that you're going to get, and a nice version of Who's Trench for aka Blowpipe. So, for me, I think at this price, yeah, this is an easy pickup at this price, especially because now Flywheels is Flywheels Sky Tread. I've seen is quite difficult to get hold of and you can pay about 30 quid for sky tread alone now so if you just want the figure to see how cool it is and see if it's nice this is an easy buy easy pickup so uh, the people are sleeping on this i believe uh, which is why you can get it at such a good price in places even in the uk and trying to get sale items on transformers in the uk they never really lose their value too much so if you're sleeping on this in the uk Get yourself to Kapow, pick this one up right now. I definitely recommend it. All right, guys, thanks again for checking out my reviews. Um, if you like what I'm doing around here, give us a like, a share, and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video in a bit. Peace.